Hello artists, I wanted to do a quick little video correction on my previous video on using soft pastels just like watercolor. I really thought it was awesome. Um, but I made the mistake of calling the Derwent ink tints. I called them pastels and they're actually like compressed ink, like acrylic ink. Um, you can buy acrylic inks um, in liquid format and these ink tints blocks are great. They look just like, or very similar to new pastels. And, um, but they are um, really intense with color and they have a nice luminosity when you use them like watercolor. Um, see that video to see how well they work in this capacity. But I wanted to make sure, I had someone ask what was the difference between using ink tints versus new pastel. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do a um, a video showing the difference between all of them when you use them like watercolor. Okay, so I'm speeding this up just because I think you can get the point. These are the ink tents, not pastels, but compressed ink. I'm showing a little bit how you can use them. By the way, don't add too much water. And I started lifting them up out so I didn't get water all down in there. These are the Neo Color 2 wax pastels actually considered pastels even though they don't seem like pastels to me they seem like crayons these are the new pastels made by prismacolor and i also use a regular soft pastel i think the one i used was by unison now i'm just marking this off to have two columns one will be using each type of pastel or ink tints um, as watercolor or like watercolor and one will be using it like an underpainting. So basically here are the pastels and here I am applying this like uh, watercolor, literally using the pastel to put some water on with a brush and apply it just like watercolor. Now the differences are that the regular pastel I use, the soft pastel at the top is a lot more um, opaque. It's not as translucent, but it had a little bit to do with the, the type of pastel that I chose. It happened to be one that was uh, just a little more opaque in its, in its uh, color, I, I think, originally. So now I'm using them as an underpainting. When you apply the pastel or the ink tints, and then you apply water. I use this technique all the time. And now I want to show you how, even though in the previous video where I used mostly the Derwent ink technique, tense blocks, you can also use regular soft pastels. I use this set in just a minute of the Sennelier 40 half stick set. I really like this little set. I like buying half sticks. Um, so check out how I use these again, just like watercolor. It's really a lot of fun. Sorry for it being dirty, um, but I could literally use this like I did in the other video where this is like my little watercolor palette. Um, I did mention to be careful, don't apply so much water that you get your, you know, your pat. Look how gorgeous that is. So yes, absolutely. We can use soft pastels as watercolor, or you can use ink tints. Let's see the difference here with, this is a dark one, or you could use wax pastels. Okay. Here's the ink tints. That's a nice dark one. And let me get a new pastel. This is a new pastel, actually a pastel, even though it does look like the ink tints. So let's check that one out. And you can see they all behave similar, you know? Um, let me get a wax pastel since I brought that one up and had it in the sample. These are the wax pastels made by Neocolor. I love these, they're really great for underpaintings. So let's just pick a different color with that. Let's do something in the green family. Same thing, I'm gonna use it just like watercolor, as if this was a little uh, um, well or individual little palette of a watercolor um, color. So same thing, look at that pretty color. All right, so they can all be used like watercolor isn't that cool i love that i thought that was exciting so i just wanted to make that correction this is the one that actually is um ink okay uh it doesn't matter i mean you still use it the same way but the rest of these are considered pastels so hope that was helpful and i hope you'll go back and watch that other video because i really had fun painting some sunflowers 
and um, it was really neat. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Do some painting, have some fun, and of course, happy painting.